Colin Martin, we heard some tough and intelligent questions today. Did we get the satisfactory answers? I think we heard some reassurances, um, particularly around uh, this issue of variable standards of care. Uh, I know some people have been worried that we might be changing things which allow lower standards of care in Cornwall as a cost-cutting measure. But actually, we had some important clarification from NHS England that what we're talking about is the same national health standards still apply. We're not taking ourselves out of the National Health Service, but that if in Cornwall we want to raise some extra standards over and above the national minimums, then that's something that this process would enable. One of the more interesting uh, answers, I, I thought, was the idea that actually the 1st of April's not set in stone, that was the quote, and that there isn't a great rush, and yet we seem to be in a great rush. Yeah, no, I, I think it, the, the members of the inquiry panel did make it clear that we don't want to feel rushed and pushed into anything here. Um, and particularly as Cornwall has had some bumps along the way, uh, some of the uh, reports that were produced last year, we branded them as being not fit for purpose and we've got a process going on to, to uh, replace those with, with better reports and better research. Um, so, yeah, I was reassured to know that we aren't being pushed ahead on any fixed timetable. There's a series of stations along this line, and we won't move to the next station until everybody's on board. It, it's, it, it was interesting to me to uh, pick up on uh, the health service witnesses seemed very clear in their view that the STP and the ACS are the same thing. From the council's point of view, they're clearly not. Uh, I, th I think there's certainly there's a, some confusion around names of things. There is, has been an ongoing conversation for decades about how do we integrate healthcare with social care. Um, you can put names on that process. The, the STP was a process about looking uh, 18 months ago, how do, we, how do we begin looking at the right shape of services going forward? The uh, ACS is more about the structure behind those services. If what you need is this service in your village and this service at a nearby town and this service down in Truro, that's, that's the frontline issue. And for most patients, that's, that's what we're concerned about. Um, behind the scenes, the, the commissioners need to think, how exactly are we going to put the money in the right places to make that possible? So uh, I wouldn't get too hung up about names. The important thing is that we're trying to provide a more joined up service and we're looking very carefully about any of the unforeseen unintended consequences of making any changes to these important organisations. There's been a lot of talk about suspicion and trust and the need to make everybody feel that everything's completely transparent and above board. Indeed there was a protest here before the inquiry panel uh, got going. Bearing that in mind uh, and thinking about the trust part of it in particular, was it a good idea for the accord setting up the ACS to have been signed on Friday, even before the panel sat down for the first time? Uh, I think that communication is key in, in maintaining trust, and there's certainly been some failures of communication over the months and years leading up to where we are now. Uh, one of my strong uh, challenges has been to, to push the people who are making these decisions to be more open and transparent. In fact, the meeting that's about to happen here this afternoon is a meeting of all the leaders of those organisations, which have up until now been meeting behind closed doors. And because I specifically asked them, can't you do that in public? They are now doing it in public. 